Hey guys, it's Debbie from Resin Hut. So, yesterday I did a little experiment using this mold, which you can get off Amazon, uh, pretty much any, any website you can get off. It's just a standard mold. Now, the reason I like these molds, they're much more hardy. Now, the plan was I poured four of these hearts into this mold, but I poured them too thick because the plan was I want to make some really hot, chunky coasters. Now, I'm waiting for my hot coasters to come, but I don't think they're going to be the depth of that. I think they're only sort of like half a centimetre or three quarters of a centimetre thick. So I want to make chunky coasters. So I poured these, but unfortunately I made them too thick because what I want to do is lay it down in there and whatever colour chips I've used to then pour that colour, one solid colour around it. So when it comes out, you'll see that and then the solid colour around it and you'll have some nice chunky coasters. So I've worked out my measurements and I've had to be quite particular with this because I don't want them to come out thin again because I spent a long time sanding those and I just couldn't get enough of the thickness off of those chunky hearts. So I've got three, well, four different colours today. I've got the green, the grey, and the blue and the yellow. Now, these are exactly 20 grams each of each colour chips. I've then very strictly measured 26 of the liquid and 65 of the powder times 4. And I've done this because I want them to all be the same thickness. I don't want to come up and then have a problem when I come to sanding trying to get them all the same thickness because then when I do come to pour them in here I'll know once I've put that in there and put, poured the water around I'll know roughly how much of the colour I need to put in each one. I'm going to have to do this in four stages but today I'm just going to do the one just to show you. So the plan at the moment is I've got my powder and I've got my liquid. I'm going to mix this up. I'm then going to take that and pour it into the chips and then pour it directly into this mold. And obviously I'm going to do that four times, but I'm not going to film all four times. I think I might just go with the blue. I like the blue. So we're just going to do it with the blue. I'm going to go put you on pause at the end, go downstairs, sand it down to get the chips out, and then do the final pour with the blue on the outline of it. I hope, guys, I hope that makes sense. But if not, it will when I start doing it. So guys, as usual, I'm going to pause you while I mix this up and put the chips in, and I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I've mixed the two together. I've added the 20 grams of chips into the jasmineite. I'm just making sure that I've got a, a good mixture of where these chips are. And, oh, didn't get my faithful wet one. There you go. And, right, and... I haven't obviously used any retarder in this because it's such a small amount, so I don't want to chance it, but trying to get half a gram. And then I'm just going to pour it into the mold. I'm going to have to use my scoop to get the rest out. I want it obviously to try and be almost perfect size for every single one. This, this is the reason why I've chosen. I mean, I could have just done it by eye, but I, I just didn't want to take a chance because then I, then I wouldn't know how much to pour when I come to my final one. And I wanted to be more precise with this, so obviously not wasting, wasting any um, jasmine light. Right, so. I'm going to try this because somebody said to me, try using a straw with the, I should actually just cut these and make these individual, it'll be so much easier. The ones that I did um, yesterday, I really did do a lot of banging and I managed to get out almost all the bubbles in the jasmine art, so I was quite happy with that. Again. I'm 
just when you think you've got all of the bubbles, there's more. Right, let's try this blowing again. seem to help I'll just bang it one more time just for good luck and good measure guys There's a few more bubbles that have come up I'm actually creating more bubbles than what I am getting rid of them by doing that because I always think the chips are just a little bit heavier than the un unmolded jasmineite so I'm hoping that the chips have also gone down to the bottom because there doesn't seem to be a lot of chips on top here which is a good thing so right there you go guys so that's that's pretty much one I'm going to leave that now and I will be back in 20 minutes to unmold this 15 20 minutes um, what I'll do then is obviously I'll take it downstairs, give it a sand, and then we'll transfer it into this one and then pour the blue on the outside of it and see how it comes out, guys. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, so I'm back. While I was waiting, I did pour another two of the heart molds. Um, there's one there and one over there. I've actually got three of these actual molds, so I was lucky enough to be able to do that. Oh, okay, that's come out really, really, and I'm very happy with that. Um, yeah, somebody, I don't know where I read it. I think it was on the Jasmineite website. Um, and someone said if you just blow blow the, blow the holes um, out, they tend to either sink down deep enough or they disappear. I can't remember which, which one it was. Um, but as you can see, I'll bring it up close. I know my eyesight's really bad, but... All that banging definitely helps because there's not, I cannot see one single hole at all on this. Obviously, you can still see the chips, but I'm going to go downstairs now quickly and just sand this. I'm not going to worry too much about the back because obviously, you know, once this is put in, I'm hoping that it's going to be deep enough. Yeah, I might just sand a little bit of that down and then when you obviously do the, the final pour, which is going to be around in the blue then obviously all this is going to be covered up so but i'll still give it a, a good sand down just in case um because it's still quite high actually i could have actually gone with actually a little bit less jasmineite and done that about half so yeah anyway guys i'm, I'm going to leave it there i'll be back in a sec when i'm finished sanding it and then we'll do stage two of this Okay, guys, I'm back. I decided to do all four. Now, I was running a little experiment myself. I wanted to see the difference between small, medium and large chips. And I thought, what better way, if I'm doing four items, to do the little experiment and see what happens. Now, let me show you. These are large chips that I used. That's the back. Um... Well, there's a few small little ones in there, but as you can see, there's quite a lot of big, bigger chips in there. Not very impressed with that one. These two were medium. And you can see it's quite strange because they're both medium, but I think this one, I, I think I pushed a lot more of the grey down. I think that's why it's come out so nice. I mean, the yellow's come out nice as well, but super impressed with this one. I used... Well, there's a couple of little medium ones in there, but I used almost like, you know, like you get like almost like the grains of, of the jasmine art left over. And a lot of the time, I'll just put that in the bin. 
I, you know, I'm always looking for like the chips. But that's what this is. I mean, literally tiny little specks, but look how beautiful it's come out. So if you are working with smaller items like this, it all depends on, on what you like. Um, this one, obviously, the green is very disappointing, but they were very, very big chips. So I couldn't use them. But those two alongside each other, me personally, I prefer the blue. I think the blue looks much nicer, but then I do like blue as a colour. So, but I just think they've come out more with the sanding. Um, not really any holes in it. There's a couple of little pin pricks. Not really to say, the back, I'm still getting bubbles at the back, which is really annoying. But with this one, I'm not worried because obviously... I'm going to put the color over it so i think what i'm going to do i'm just going to do one of them for now because i've only got one of these little uh, obviously this is originally a photo frame so i mean i could very well pour i might just if i've got some over which i think i'm going to i'm what i'm going to do i'm actually going to pour this section as well so just to instead of it going to waste and i've got other little things here to use anyway guys um, as always, I'll be back in a sec. I'm just going to quickly mix it up. I've used way too much. Um, I've, what I did was I put this in, like I said, and filled it up with water. And it took about 80 millilitres of water. So I've just timesed it. I haven't bothered bringing my jessamonite levels down. I've just done 175, which I know should be, if it works out right, should be quite a bit over. But I've got, like I said, I always keep my little things to the side so I can pour my little animals and things like that. So, guys, I will be back in two secs. Okay, guys, so as I said, it's all in all, it's 175 of the jasmineite. I've just put three drops of the blue in. I don't want it to be too dark. I want it to try and be, I don't know, more of a, a pastel colour. Um, and that's the colour that's coming out at the moment. So, I know it, the one thing I have learned now is you don't really don't need to put too much colouring in. And it always looks lighter when you're mixing it. Once you've poured it and it's set, it just, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems to go a lot darker. So guys, here goes nothing. I'm hoping this works out. I'm just going to just position this. Just make sure there's nothing in here. Oh dear, I should have actually checked that, I suppose, before I did this. right there you go it's all out so i'm just going to position it i'm going to just bring it down here it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but obviously i'm trying to do it as perfect as possible and i'll try and get these bubbles out before i pour it because i don't think i'm going to be able to do much banging when it goes in for obvious reasons Let's go for it and see. I think if I just pour it really slowly, I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm just hoping that um, I don't get too many bubbles in this, guys. Because um, otherwise it's a lot of work down the drain. You know me, guys, I hate sanding. Right, so... So that's what so I don't want to overflow it. So let's let's just do. I might not even have enough to do this. <laughs> uh, right, let's get my scoop. Oh, it's still quite a bit in there. Right, so let me just. Um, again, I didn't put any um, retarder in the scars. I just, you know, when I'm working sort of with things under sort of four hundred. Four, five hundred up to about half a litre. Um, I'm a bit nervous to put the retarder in because I'm just frightened it's not going to, it's not going to set because I'm still learning. So I think once I build my confidence up with the retarder, I think, oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> it's just not enough. Oh dear, never mind. Um, all right, let me just. See if I can get at least a bit of a tray out of this. Problem is I wasn't going to do this tray and then I've changed my mind and decided to do it. I would have been better off 
just leaving it and making chips out of this, but it doesn't matter. I might be able to get some kind of a tray, little bottom tray out of it. Right, I've got a little bit left in here. Let's see if I can get this last bit out. I love these jugs, but the problem is where the writing is, it's it's dented in slightly, so the, all the jasmineites and everything just gets stuck in the corners there, which is really annoying. Yeah, this is literally a fraction not enough. So if I do want to make a, another one with a stand, I will up it to about 180, maybe 190. All right, so now I'm just going to see. I don't really want to lift this, guys, because I don't want to move the position. I'll do this one. Sorry, can you see, guys? Should I move a bit closer? Um, yeah, I don't really want to move this because of that piece in the middle, so I think I'll just tap the sides and hopefully I can get all the bubbles Do that. I can actually see where it's folding in to where the piece is in the middle. Obviously, I know I'm going to have to sand again. I have dreaded sanding. Could have actually got away with a little bit less jasmine art in there. It's just slightly, slightly over. I could have used it. Might actually. Just see if I can get rid of some of these bubbles. Mm, what am I looking for? Oh, not that one. Oh dear, I've got all these ones that are that I've used early and I've been lazy. I haven't. Well, not lazy, really, because I've um I've been sanding. So normally I would wash everything out before before I move on to this stage. But because I've spent the last Sort of 45 minutes sanding. Wow, that's really setting. I can feel it. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. I will be back in a sec to show you the finished product and what it looks like. Obviously, I'm, I have to do this another three times with the green, yellow, and red. No, green, yellow, and grey, sorry. Um... I'm hoping that I managed to get the bubbles out by doing that. So guys, I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. I'm just going to take... Oh, it popped out really easy. Let me just do it over this. Since you're getting bits all over this plastic of mine and I need to replace it because I was working with resin. I don't know if I told you guys. I was working with the epoxy the other day and good old faithful heat gun. Unfortunately I put it a little bit too close to this plastic and it's melted it. Um yeah it's come out quite nice. I mean I wasn't I mean in all fairness this is not the plan. I'm not planning on using this um but obviously it needs a good sand underneath doesn't come out too bad considering that it didn't fill it to the top and this is the one that again it's, it's going to need sanding as well again but let's see oh I'm nervous <sighs> right so I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera but there's a distinct oh my gloves are too big <laughs> there's a distinct line where this is underneath so you can actually see it. So once I've sanded this, all of this will come up. So guys, what I'm going to do, I wasn't going to do it, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly pop down and quickly go give this a very quick sand just to get that heart shaped out so you can see the finished product. So hold tight, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I've given it just, um, I haven't um, gone down with this, the finer sandpaper. I've just done a quick 240 on this um, I didn't even get my electric drill out, I actually did it by hand. So obviously I would still need to go through 
to the uh, uh, a lot of people have been asking about sanding on the Jesmonite website lately um, and I generally do 120 or 220, 320, um, sometimes 600 uh, or an 800. I don't really go more than that. Um, and then I then obviously use the Clark's um, stone finish. So that's finished product. It's not 100% straight in there, which has really annoyed me. It's sort of slightly up on the side. And with my OCD, that's, that, that would really annoy me. But all in all... Um, I'm really happy with the way it's come out. It's a lovely, I mean, as always, I seem to be still be getting hundreds of holes in the back, but it doesn't worry me because I've actually got um, the backs that go onto this and even my square one would fit perfectly. I could just cut it out to the shape of that. And they're quite nice and chunky. So there'd be some, some unusual nice chunky coasters. So oh, if you don't like it, then you could always just do something like that and put it into the stand. And have it as a decorative piece in your kitchen or one of well, me personally wouldn't put it in the kitchen but something like a bathroom or a toilet or something like that on the windowsill would look quite nice i wouldn't mind that in my house i'm sure my partner would disagree <laughs> he's not all hearts and flowers um yeah but i'm i hope i'm really really happy with the outcome of that i'm, I'm I, I didn't expect it to come out as nice as that obviously I need to obviously do the, the, the grey, yellow and green one and then try and get it a little bit more straighter when I put it in there. I might just get a a tape measure or a ruler or something and just measure the height from the, from the top of the heart here and just try and see if I can get it in a little bit more straight. Anyway, guys, I'm waffling. I hope that you were able to learn something from this because I most certainly have. And if you've got any questions just pop them in the comments below guys if you did like this video and you did find it insightful and useful and helpful please give it the thumbs up and like I said any questions please leave them and I'll try and answer them if not the little family that we've got on our little YouTube channel will most certainly be able to help as well and last but not least guys if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button so you know when my next video is coming out it's been a bit a bit sporadic at the moment because i'm in the middle of selling my house and moving and it's that's going to be a, a headache in itself but otherwise guys take care of yourself take care of your family and i'll see you guys all soon bye